This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today we're going to be putting in the uh, can shift uh, paddle shifter kit into the uh, the town car. So uh, let's get started. Okay. So one of the uh, the first things that we're going to do is you're gonna going to notice on your upshift paddle that there is a slot for a battery. That's what this battery comes with the kit for. Uh, also on this, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it actually gives you the polarity of the direction to put the battery in. So positive side would go towards the sticky tape and the negative towards the actual switch mechanism itself. So let's get started here and uh, let's get this battery in there and then we'll move on to the next steps. And uh, this is just powered with a uh, CR2032 lithium three volt battery. You can get these anywhere. Uh, and I would probably recommend um, upgrading. This is, seems to be a Chinese battery. Uh, I know Duracell makes them. You can get them at like the supermarket, stuff like that, along with like watch batteries. But let's install that into here and uh, we will move forward here with the install. So one of the first things that we're going to do, we're not going to stick these on just yet. Uh, we're going to get a feel for how they go on here and um, just see how they look. And then uh, if we like how they look, then we'll clean the back of the steering wheel, the back side of where the switches are along here. And uh, then we'll get these in place and then we'll move on to the next steps. Okay, so I got a couple paper towels and some isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna just soak the paper towels in that and just clean the back side of where these switches are going to mount. All right, time to clean these. And you'll see, it's getting off some dirt. And it could also be because the wheel is black as well. I don't think it's actually that dirty. But uh, yeah, we just cleaned that part of the back side of this. So we are just going to let that flash to dry. And then we will attach the switches. And I have removed the adhesive uh, protecting uh, film covering the, uh, the tape. So now I'm going to mount this on. Uh, I do really want to concentrate because I want to get this perfect. So I'm just going to put the phone down for a second. But you can actually see where these lines kind of go into behind this piece. And you want to get it set just right on the back side here. So let me get that attached and then I'll go over to the other side and we'll get that side attached as well. Okay, so as you can see, this shifter is on there. And uh, now we're going to remove the adhesive backing and put the other side up. So I am going to put the camera down again while I do that. And then I'll show you guys what those look like installed. All right, and that's what they look installed. They should look even. They should look straight, um, the same amount poking up. My wheel's a little crooked uh, right now, but this looks awesome. Can't wait to try this out. So now I'm just going to clean up the mess from this stuff, and uh, we'll move on to the next step, which is just connecting the, uh, the interface or the display, and uh, I'll just put it somewhere temporary uh, just so I can try this out. All right, so one thing I like about this uh, display box is actually how long the uh, the cord is. So that gives you a lot of options to mount it. Now, it's pretty busy in my interior as it is, so I will find a permanent home for it. But for now, I'm actually going to put it in my phone holder. Uh, so I'll get that clamped in there, and then I will uh, just hook it up to test this okay, out. Okay, so I have that in the uh, the phone holder. 
and I'm just going to go up under this direction of the dash and hook this up to the uh, the uh, onboard diagnostics port and uh, start the car up, take it for a quick ride to test this just out. Just an interesting note, even though I had the battery in the correct way, uh, there's a little spring clip in there that I accidentally pushed the battery in uh, on the wrong, and it ended up going on the wrong side of that. So be really careful of that. I just fixed it so that battery is all set. Uh, and that's why the car wasn't shifting like it was supposed to. Uh, on the display, actually, it should show the gears over here once it's activated. And this is the gear that you're in. So let's uh, let's give this another shot. So this is what the display will look like. So I'm in second and uh, I'm going to upshift. So you're going to see right there, just shifted in the third. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to downshift with the uh, left pedal, second, and that's it. That is awesome. I cannot wait to do an awesome video uh, with my GoPro, that way you can actually see the shifts and the driving. This makes this platform fucking awesome i highly recommend this uh obviously i'm going to keep testing it out here's another note this is a 2005 town car it says 2006 and up but i knew for a fact that the lincoln town car is a can bus vehicle so this works on 2005 town cars uh this is absolutely awesome guys i am so excited well, that's how you install the uh, can shift system that will work with a 2005 Lincoln Town Car. Um, but it lists for Crown Victoria's 2006 and up on their website. But I can assure you it will work on a 2005 Town Car. It's awesome. Absolutely love it. Uh, but that's how you install it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.